In this video, I'll show you how to work with a sky texture node in Blender using a Python script. Hey, I'm Victor Stepanoff, and I'll be guiding you through this Blender Python tutorial. Getting lighting right in your scene is pretty challenging, and today we'll be covering a Blender Python building block that's going to be working with the sky texture node in Blender's world shader. By the end of this video, you'll be able to control the sky texture node through a Python script and get the results that you want. Let's get straight into the tutorial. And here's the sky texture node that we'll be working with. It has a number of parameters that we can control through a Python script. Let's head on over to Blender to start working on the script. I'll go ahead and open the scripting workspace at the top, hit new right here, and I'll paste in some code that will help me get started with this tutorial. I'll provide a link in the description under initial code so you can get it for yourself as well. And here's the code. It's Pretty straightforward, we have a main function that adds a cube, adds a plane, creates a material for that plane, applies that material to the plane, and then sets a diffuse color, and then calls this function that's gonna be working with, with the sky texture node. And let me delete everything from the scene, run the script, and you can see that it generated this scene right here. I'm gonna hit Z on the keyboard, hit rendered, and you can see that there is no light currently in the scene and we'll be fixing that all right so the very first thing that we want to do is we want to get a reference to the world shader in our python script and to get that reference we're just going to uh, access the context scene world and then the node tree of the world shader and we're going to create a variable to hold that value for us next let's delete all the nodes from that world shader and we'll be filling out the nodes as we go along. To delete all the nodes from the world shader, we can just run the nodes and then clear, and that will remove everything from the world shader. And let me bring up the world shader below this text editor, this script editor. I'm gonna pull down here and then hit Shift F3. Just change the area, and then I'm gonna select the shader editor and then select the world. So let's hide that. And you can see right now we have this in our world shader and you actually control the lights right here. You can see that the strength is updating right in the viewport. And let's go ahead and let me delete everything from the scene by hitting AX and then delete. And this, after running the script, uh, we should uh, be able to see that nothing will be in the world shader is we're deleting everything right here. Go ahead and run the script, and you can see that nothing now is in the world shader. Let's start filling in the nodes that we need, and we'll need three nodes. We need, we'll need the sky texture itself, the background node, and then the world output node. And here's the code. I'm using this uh, world node tree, nodes and new, and then using this name for the sky texture node for the background node and for the world output node. I know exactly what these are because I looked this up in the documentation. I'll provide a link in the description so you can also look up other nodes that you're interested in. And then I'm assigning new variables to each one of these nodes that we create. Let's go ahead and, well, first of all, let's, let me comment this out. I'll select this and hit forward slash and then tab. This way we don't have to delete everything from the scene each time we run the script. Right, so we're just going to be running this uh, this part of the script. Let's go ahead and run the code, and then let's scroll to the correct place. And you can see we have the three nodes that we created with this code right here. Let's add some code to move these nodes with the Python script, so we can arrange them in uh, the following way, but only with a Python script. And I'll define two variables up here that will define the current location of a node on the x axis and then the step that will take each time we add a node and here are the two variables so the step and the current location and let's go ahead and update the locations of each one of these nodes i'm going to leave the first node the sky node where it is so it's going to be in origin of the node tree i'll go ahead and update the world background node i'll take the variable itself and then use the location property 
and then the x and then equals and then the location like that i'm gonna go ahead and calculate the new location right here right after we add that node let's go ahead and run this and see what that gives us and you can see that we haven't touched the world output just yet because it's right here on top but uh the sky texture is in place as i said and then we move the background node so we move it with this code we calculated the next step with this let's go ahead and calculate the next step for uh, the output world output node and i'll just use that and let's go ahead and rerun our script and you can see now we have our nodes nicely aligned now that we have our nodes aligned let's connect these nodes so we're going to link the color to the color here and the background to the surface right here and i'll define the links right below and here are the links i'm going to hit control space to give a better view so it's full screen now and now you can see that we have these two lines that define the two links i'm connecting the sky node in the output the output socket the color and i'm connecting the world background and the color as well and again with the world background node i'm connecting the background to the surface of the output let's take a look how that will look after we run the script and you can see as soon as we finished running our script we have some lighting in our scene and if you're learning something new and enjoying this tutorial make sure to hit the like button I'll greatly appreciate it. And one thing I want to do right away is control the strength right here of the background node, uh, like so. And in the info panel down below, I can see some code generated as soon as I modified uh, this value right here. I'm going to go ahead and copy that and go under the world background node, paste that in. And let's replace all of this. So this is the node tree. This is the background node. And since we already have a reference to that, I can just replace it with the reference like that. This is the input sockets that we have. It says one, right? But the thing is that the input socket starts with an index of zero. So the color is the index zero and the strength is the index of one. And actually you can make it a lot better if you just replace this with a string like strength you can use that and this is a lot more readable in my opinion so let's leave that the de we're setting the default value of the input socket remember you can connect things into this input socket but by default it's going to be this value i'm going to go ahead and set it to 0.1 and let's go ahead and run the script and we just found out that i can't spell let's go ahead and run that again all right that is a lot better and you can see that the value of the background strength was updated let me go ahead and make this a parameter of this function so i'll set strength and let's set the default to one like that this way if i don't provide this value it's going to be this right but if i do so i can right now do that or like that and this it set the strength so let me use this argument right here oh, let me let me set it, let me set it to point two and rerun the script and you can see that if you take a closer look that the strength value is point two. all right so the parameter is working for us now let's figure out how to update these parameters like the sun size the rotation let's update the rotation like that and we can just copy that code and paste it right here and we, you can just replace all that like this and this is a uh, of course of course the value of the sun rotation is currently 11 degrees but this is in radian so we would need to import math and instead of this i'm going to use math dot radians and let's add 33 degrees let's go ahead and rerun the script and you can see that the sun rotation is now 33 degrees all right at this point you can play around with these different parameters in this sky texture node and see different results and apply them right underneath the sky texture as the same way as i did right here but the, the problem is you probably need to provide them as arguments 
Uh, I'm going to show you a slight different way so you can just, if you want to set, have the ability to set everything, you'll have like how many uh, arguments right here, right? There's a number of them and it's going to be a pretty long list of arguments. I'll actually do something different. I want to provide a dictionary and set the values based on a dictionary and I'll show you what that means. So I'm going to move that uh, right here. I'll show you how, what I'm going to do in a second. I'm going to provide a new parameter that's going to be the sun config like this and i'm going to set it to none this means that it's not going to be set by default and if it's not set nothing will happen i'm going to go ahead and define a new if statement right here and i'm going to say if sun config which means that it's the same thing as doesn't equal to none but this is a lot shorter so i'll keep it like that and I'll create a for loop that's going to loop over the values in the dictionary that I'll be passing in and then setting those properties. And here's the code. Let me give you a better look with the full screen mode. I'm printing out some just a print statement and message for myself in the log and I'm looping over the contents of a dictionary. So I'm taking the items from the dictionary and I'm getting the key value pair. And in particular, I'm looking for the attribute. So this right here is an attribute, right? And I'm gonna be using this as a text string. And I'm gonna be looking up with uh, this has adder, so it has an attribute. So does the sky node have this attribute? And if it does, then we're gonna print, first we're gonna set a message, and we're gonna say that we're setting this attribute so s is that and then set to and then this string right here so the value whatever that's going to define in our dictionary and then we're going to use the set adder function on the sky node to set the attribute to the value right here and if this sky node doesn't have maybe you made a typo or maybe blender updated its python api and that attribute doesn't exist anymore on the on the sky extra node uh, you'll get a warning like this that this right here this attribute is, is not an attribute of the sky texture node all right so let's define a dictionary to show you how this works so i'll name the dictionary sun config and i'm going to use this attribute name and then set that to another value like that let me delete this part and let's set this to, I don't know, 66. And then let me use the sun config as the argument, right? And again, this dictionary name, this variable can be anything. I'm just being lazy. I'm just using the same thing. Right? It, doesn't, it doesn't really, so this is the uh, keyword argument and this is the, so I can use like, do it like that, right? This will work. I'll just keep it uh, simple like this. That should let us update through this sun config through this dictionary instead of defining all of this in the word arguments we can just define everything in a dictionary let's see how this looks and if you take a closer look our sun rotation is 66 all right so now this thing is now working and we can take it a step further and i can generate a random number each time i run the script and let's do that so I'm going to first at the very top, I'm going to import random and then the bottom instead of this value, I'm going to go ahead and type in random rand, and then a value between zero and 360 degrees. And now this will allow me to generate random numbers between zero and 360 and then turn them in radians and add them to our dictionary. And now let's go ahead and run our script. And watch, now the sun rotation is 23. Run that again. Now the sun rotation is 205. And you can see how you can start generating different lighting conditions just with Python script. And let me uncomment this right here. Unindent this by hitting shift tab and then control forward slash to uncomment this. And now let's go ahead and run the script. And you can see that Actually, uh, I think I'm in EV, so let me update that to cycles, noise. And you can see that we have this lighting 
setup right here. All right, and if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to check out this tutorial right here where I use this particular building block to make something cool. Thanks for watching.